So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the UCLA Bruins and the Virginia Cavaliers. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Cavaliers could be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do they have to do if they want to have a chance to win tonight? Well, partner, here's what I see as the key to the game. Number one, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Secondly, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Third, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Set with a great block. What an unbelievable play. Rotating over. Both teams looking to get things going here. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Looking for a good shot. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Got a high post flasher. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Number two takes the feed. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. There they come with a double team to stop it. The shooting guard takes the pass. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Trying to feed inside. Goes up for two. Got a man in high post. Number 20 gets the pass. For the bucket, and off the mark. Dumps it in. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Right at the circle. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Trying to go inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them. The witty rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They look to get it to the inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Side. Shooter spotting up on the three. Tries for two. They still don't score. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He fakes the shot. As the chance persists. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Number 44 is eager and excited to compete. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Goes up for two. He nails the shot.
A high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket. With the fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Turns it over. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And he'll kick it back outside. This just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He takes the shot off the baseline. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Both teams looking to get things going here. He looks at the hoop. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball with a deep shot from outside. Brings it down. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. And a momentary look from three-point land. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Goes up for two. And in and out. For the bucket, there was no doubt about that one. They work it around the perimeter. Makes the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. On the inside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Drains it. Frustration right there. The shooting guard with the ball. Up and inside. He dials long distance. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. Hold 
Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to drop. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Thanks, Aaron. He makes the block. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tries for two. He makes the shot. The Bruins will be tested once again in this game. It seems as though the top-ranked teams often bring out the best in all their opponents. You've got that right, Brad. When you're a good team, everybody wants a piece of you. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. And he missed. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He goes for three. He buries the shot. Number 42 fakes the shot. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. The small forward gets the ball. Kicks it out. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Steals a pass. And here they come the other way in transition. Both teams looking to get things going here. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You gotta take care of the rock, baby. They'll throw it in from the side. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the bucket, and off the mark. Takes the pass in the paint. Jump hook from the low block. UCLA have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Working around the perimeter. Two. They still don't score. Trying to draw some contact. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, trying to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Bruins go to the line for the first time in this game. He gets it to go.
He got it. Gets his third. job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Number 23 with a tomahawk. from the top of the key. He gets the bucket. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Picks off the pass. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. There's the trap. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Puts it up looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from long range, way off target. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Jumped in front to take it away. Up and inside. Working it around the perimeter, they'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. It's stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. For the bucket, Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Watch it. Ball goes out of bounds. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. 
Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Great anticipation defensively. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. With the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. And he'll kick it back outside. Fakes it. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Shoots it. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Step out on that screener. They're right on top of that pass. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Let's see if they go two for one here, bro. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. the rim and no good number 30 is called for the foul first personal foul shot clock is dead picked off moving it around the perimeter Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. And the ball goes out of bounds. Jumps in. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, it's not going to down the ease, Brad. Way off target. The half. The Cavaliers are ahead by 13. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. UCLA had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on a basketball court, they're trying to be Aristotle, man. They're going to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Double 
double team now. Bad angle. He shoots from the top of the circle. He comes up empty. The power forward handles the pass. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He's the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. Gets it to go. In the paint. Executes the baby hook. In and out. Now they work it around the perimeter. He blocks the shot. That was awesome, baby. Makes the shot. Ball handler's in trouble. He shoots from the top of the key. It sticks. The Bruins are behind by 15. Picks off the lazy pass. This is swarming defense. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Second one, good. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. For two. They still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Takes the board. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. There's the pick. He nails the shot. Watch the replay coming up. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Up, oh, easy one. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He buries it. <laughs> Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. He launches a three. Nice shot. The Bruins are trailing by 18. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He drains the bucket. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The point guard receives the ball. He wants a three. Off target. For the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The power forward receives the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop.
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior. Knocks it home and one. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Man, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. In and out. The center handles the feed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. surprise the opposition with a little change here Dick. that might not be a bad idea picks off the pass the shot from the baseline off the rim and no good they work the perimeter Here's a double team. He shoots from left of the circle. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing them off. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He throws it up from downtown. Bounces off. Number 20 picks up the foul. First team foul. Takes the pass in the paint. He gets it to go. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Accepts it. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Goes. Top of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to draw the foul. In the paint. The fake. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. There they come with a double team to stop it. Regroup. 
He looks for three. He drains it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Dick, everything we could have asked for. Close game in the first half, still close here in the second half. And this is NCAA basketball. You know, Brad, they couldn't handle pressure defensively. I think rotating into the traps really created a nightmare. Gets them both. Moving it around the perimeter. Great block shot. Look at that spacing. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Work it inside, and he tries to drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He gets the rejection. Sinks it. One on the shot clock. Jumped in front to take it away. There's a slam. The Cavaliers seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they're a solid and reliable basketball player. For two, and he missed. Number 43 is looking for some encouragement from the fans. I think he feels the importance of this offensive possession. Number 42 snatches the offensive board. He fires from long range. He hits the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fake. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Good fake. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. And that one's blocked. Sinks the shot. On the outside. Steals the pass. Easy two coming here. The ball goes out of play. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Nice fake. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. And the ball goes out of play. 
I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting close play because they were really anticipating the spin. the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's a double team waiting there. He takes it away. They run it up into transition. For two. Easy one. Stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding their basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. Double team now, bad angle. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Kicking back outside. He pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Man, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Up and inside. With a block. Momentary look from three-point land. Number three draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the freebie. Hits the first shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He makes his second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots. He is just lighting it up, dude. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, for the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Great defense. They push it up on the break. And off the mark. Working it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Oh, right, right 
right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Takes away the pass. Turnaround jumper. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. The Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Pushing up basketball, help one another, communicate. Now they work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Gets it to fall. Number two is whistled for the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Hits his second. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Puts it up. Rims out. Controlling the ball. He tries the three. Can't put it down. The Cavaliers are going to call a timeout. And with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Aaron's right about that. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the tray. He tries the three ball. Nope. They work the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up.
We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The Cavaliers played exactly the time.